Our verse today is Psalm 5, verse 5. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. Psalm 5 is attributed to David. The introduction says a psalm of David. The psalm is a prayer of lament. It begins with a call for God to listen attentively to his cry for help. The psalmist then appeals to God's justice, drawing a contrast between God, the wicked, and himself. Therefore, the psalmist calls on God to protect him and punish the wicked for their evil. He concludes by calling on God to bless the righteous, covering them with favor as with a shield. In our verse, the first part says, The boastful shall not stand in the sight of your eyes. That's the literal Hebrew translation. The word translated as boastful is from the verb hala, which can mean to shine, flash forth light, praise, or be boastful. It could also mean to be confused, deluded, making a fool of someone, or acting as if one is mad. In the context, the psalmist uses the word for the wicked and evildoers, which is definitely used in a derogatory way to refer to those who delude themselves, boast, or behave senselessly. Therefore, we can say those who boast, delude themselves, or make a fool of others cannot stand before God. God does not admit such behavior and attitude. God hates call poor le aven, all those who commit or practice or perform aven. The Hebrew word aven could mean harm, trouble, misdeed, injustice, deceit, or idolatrous court. Therefore, the psalmist talks about those who plot harm, ferment trouble, practicing justice, deceit, or idolatry. God hates those actions and does not admit them when they stand before him. For us to stand before God's presence, especially in prayer and generally as his children, we have to read ourselves of pride and boastful nature that tend to focus on ourselves and make a fool and mockery of other people. We also have to root out any form of injustice against other people, those things that inflict harm, make trouble with other people, or engage in deceitful activities. We must replace those bad tendencies with something positive, as the psalmist says at the end of this psalm. The good news is that even when people oppose us and seek our downfall, God protects us. Let all who take refuge in you rejoice. That is what the psalmist says. Rather than fear the wicked, the boastful, and their evil ways, we can take refuge in the Lord and submit to God. Then he says, Let them ever sing for joy and spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may exult in you. Those who trust in the Lord enjoy God's protection and rejoice because God will always protect them from the evil one and the plans of their enemies. Lord, protect us from the wicked plans of our enemies and those who wish us harm. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a very wonderful day.